In today's video I'll be showing you how to make this amazingly terrible pen holder made from just half pegs and a lid. The lid has come from a can of de-icer and I was motivated to make this from watching a another YouTuber. Uh, the YouTuber is called Mistake. He makes some really good stuff. Um, like uh, small crossbows, small catapults, does backyard science. But I thought I'd, uh, I'd try this one since it looked easy. Now, I'm going to pop a link to Mistake up in the right hand corner shortly. But as you can see here, I've got my, my pegs. They're from B&M Bargains and I think they're about 49p. And as you can see, the quality of them is about right for 49p. There's Mistake. Look at him, handsome devil. And his pen holder looks five times as good as mine, but it still looks pretty terrible. Um, so here I am just separating all the pegs from one another, taking the springs out, which is probably the most expensive part of the peg. I'm going to try and work something out to do with the springs later. Um, not sure what. So I'm just lining all the pegs up now, so I've got all my kit out ready to build this uh, fantastic I don't know, potentially a Father's Day gift, if you don't like your father too much. So, uh, it takes about 12 pegs to, to do this lid, and it is a little bit wider than Mistake's lid was. Now, with that, it makes it feel a bit shorter as well, for some reason. Um, I would probably go with the deodorant lid, which is smaller. And just taking a few more apart. And there we go. I'll just line those up. How many have we got there? About 12. So here's my high quality glue gun from Wix. Possibly one of my worst purchases ever. As it heats the glue up to the consistency of chewing gum. I believe if I'd spent maybe an extra couple of quid on a, a glue gun, I might have got one that. It did a good job. I did find, however, that there were specific glue sticks for different jobs. These ones I'm using are wood glue sticks. Um, you can also buy super glue sticks. I found that out by visiting the Black & Decker store in the Lowry Centre in Manchester. So you press the pegs against the lid and they stick rather quickly because the glue cools down pretty fast. Then on to the next one and just give it a little wavy line. You want to try and get as much of the peg covered as possible. And then try and level it so that they meet. The closer you can get to level, the better this will look. I guess if you really cared, you could perhaps sand the top down and, and level it all off. But uh, this was more just a project to see what I could do with some pegs and a lid and how good it would really look. This does go on for quite some time, so if you need a quick loo break or want to go make a cup of tea or coffee, now's a good time. Oh, see the glue string there? High quality, like I said. As you can see, the pegs are already starting to become slightly not level. And another one. I didn't say this wasn't going to be tedious. And looking at this, I'm not going to have enough pegs to get all the way around in my first run. So I'm going to have to tear a few more apart. But hey, when I'm done, I'll have somewhere to store my pens and pencils and paintbrushes and all these springs. Oh yeah. So we're around halfway done now. So I'm guessing I'll probably need to pull apart another five or six pegs. Oh, 
The backing track will cover up these silent moments. They, they don't need to be awkward. And nobody watches my videos anyway, so it doesn't really matter. In fact, I filmed this maybe two months ago. I just haven't got around to edit it until tonight. And I thought, I'll have a couple of buds and edit a video. This one looked easiest. And here we go. Look at that. I absolutely mashed that other side of the peg. You see it. See, they don't make pegs like they used to. Back in war, pegs had last your lifetime. You'd inherit pegs. Five generation pegs. I, I honestly don't know what I'm talking about. I'll probably cut most of this. Nah, I probably won't. I'm lazy. Mistakes already looked so much better than mine. Perhaps I'll actually speed this up a bit as well. Maybe eight times. Phew, this is dull. Every single pack, glue, stick, press, level, glue, stick, press, level. Glue, stick, press, level. But the end is nigh. You can see that there's only an inch or two left of pegs to do. I've got four pegs there. Maybe they'll do it. Oh, I'm running out of glue. Let's put another stick in. As you can see from the front, it was wood glue. So this is a tip I learned online. Press a little bit of glue to the front push it in, stick it to the next one, and boom, you've got yourself one big glue stick. So you can just keep going, and I just caught that doll up in time before it hit my uh, self-healing mat that I, uh, I bought from a store called You and Me for about a pound. It's really good. I've not tried seeing whether it actually heals or not yet. Maybe that could be another video. Oh, that was totally not level. But by this point, I just don't care. I'm like, I can see the uh, the finish line. Here we go. Penultimate one. Oh, I'm going to be one short. God damn it, look at it. This one's practically rotten. But I'm going to use it anyway. Quality control. Oh, just one more. Let's break this peg apart. Run a bit of glue down. Boom. Now we can move on. Give it a quick squeeze. Try and do some last minute adjustments that are impossible because the glue's dried. And then it's time for the string. The part that makes this look a little bit like a barrel. Here I've got some cheap string just off camera. You saw it sort of sneak in there. So I'll pull a bit of that out. Need a fair bit to be honest. I'm going to go around it three times. And I knocked my glue got over. I don't care. I'm a rebel. Feel a bit like that guy voiceover and doing the voiceover for this, the, um, the one who sings what he's doing on Family Guy. Most people won't get that reference. So, put my blob of hot glue down, wrap the string around a few times, and then once I get to the end, another blob of hot glue. I'll cut it first, that makes sense.
Yeah, more hot glue, because that's what this needs. Lots and lots of hot glue. A bit more on here for the upper one. I mean, it's not be the worst thing in the world, but I don't think you'd pay for it if you saw it in a shop. You wouldn't go, oh, that's worth a quid. No. Was it better as lids than a peg? Probably. Will this YouTube video get any views? Probably not. Look at that high quality craftsmanship. Oh, and I'm using the spring to take the glue off. Oh, I've got some on my mat. I'll just scrape that off. Final one, a little bit of string left. Yeah, I'll stick it in these ridges. Coincidentally, I managed to make this in a way that there isn't the possibility of taking a photo from it from any angle without seeing a bit of hot glue. Interesting fact. And the final snip. And we're done. There we have one barrel-esque peg cup lid holder. So let's just stick some pens and things in there. Nearly knock the glue gun over. Brilliant. few more just for good measure. And a screwdriver, why not? I think I'll tidy all these springs into there as well so they've got somewhere to live. Scissors might be a bit much. <sighs> Nearly too heavy for it. <laughs>